Yeah, he looks like it was one of the beings from the city. Where they have whatever the heck those things were. Hello everyone, Trigon here. Welcome back to Conan Exiles. Growler on vacation. That's right. You finally got that stuff right. Growler's proud of you. <laughs> Alright, thanks Growler. Oh dear. Don't forget everyone, if you liked the video, tickle that thumbs up button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. So I hope you guys enjoyed the dragon fight. A uh, couple of things. One, uh, we're getting very close to our first purge. Um, actually, I should have checked the settings to make sure I have this set properly for that. Uh, I will check it between episodes if this doesn't happen. Um, anyways, I have actually added uh, five new mods on here, I think. Uh, there were mods I was just testing out on my single player, and I decided to go ahead and bring them in uh, to our Growler uh, uh, game. Uh, if you look on the top left, you will see we got two new icons up there. One of them, as you as I turn around, you can see is a compass. Uh, so just a nice little handy thing. It sort of just reminds me of like a Cracker Jack compass. It doesn't seem like, you know, perfectly accurate or anything. But I like that. I like the fact that it's, it's more of a primitive compass. But it, it'll help you out in a case... I mean, you could tell what direction you're facing anyways. But if the visibility is poor, if you're down in you know, down in, in ravines or whatever, it's hard to tell where you're pointed, especially if you're trying to navigate through ravines. So I thought that would be really handy. The other one, the little yin-yang symbol, is uh, actually a day-night meter. So you can see we're getting later in the day, we're getting into the afternoon. Um, and so that just rotates to show you, to show you that. Uh, the next thing, let's see... Uh, actually, I can show you this one right here. This, the next one is this one right here. Is this one right here? You see, allows you to if if you're if you have a thrall whose inventory is empty, they have nothing in their inventory. You can pick them back up. Uh, here it is. You can pick them back up and put them back in your inventory. Uh, and it also allows you to have more than one thrall following. You can see we can add you can have the one regular thrall following it, but then you can add five more thralls using this. So that's sort of nice. I like I like that. That'll be handy if we need to move thralls around and stuff. Um, most of these are just all cosmetic things. A little bit of helpful things, but mainly just cosmetic. Um, then this one here is sort of cool. Uh, better, I suppose, if you're doing a full nude server and stuff. You see this wheel isn't going? It's because there's a config on here. Uh, this is another mod. It allows you to set it to not run when it's empty or just to run it all the time. You can set it to show men and women or only men or only women. And you can even set how your taskmaster is is positioned. So he's kneeling up there. Or we can put him back to standing. So I like I like the fact that I can set this to stop turning when it's not running. Because that's great because then you go, oh, is that thrall done yet? No, the wheel's still running. He's not done yet. But the last one is the one I'm really most excited about. Let's see. It adds a feat. Let's see, we've got it here. The drama instructor. Zero points. It didn't cost you it doesn't cost you anything to get. It allows you to make these tokens. Which should be in my inventory now. Where are they? There they are. Okay. But these tokens are, are basically they're like animation chains. I just think this is awesome. Uh, it just it makes your your place so much more lively uh, but there's bored disgusted friendly happy I like the happy let's make a couple of happies okay we got two happies kneeling laying down laying seductive praying to Mitra praying to set uh, just praying generic one punished <laughs> I want that one. Seductive. Let's make uh, let's make at least let's make two seductives. I don't think we'll need two of them, but we'll have at least one person seductive. Sitting, uh, submissive, talking. I like talking. We'll do two more of these. 
threatening. I like the threatening. The threatening isn't terribly threatening. I like it a lot. And then crossed arms is sort of cool, too. So you can take all these thralls that are just standing around doing nothing. Not the dancers and stuff. But actually, let's come up here to, to this girl. Actually, let's, let's, you'll like this growler. Oh yeah, growler likes this. Let's make her seduce and growler. <laughs> so watch, now she'll stand here and do this stuff. We take her pack off so she looks a little bit, little bit better. There we go, she need to wear her pack when she's just standing around. But you can see she'll, she'll sit there and, no, because, there we go. She'll sit there and run animations. <laughs> blowing kisses at Growler. But then you can do ones like this too. So we'll come over here. Uh, let's see. You know what? Let's put the crossed arms on him. So this is fairly simple. He's just, whoops. Oh, I put the threatening on him, didn't I? I put threatening on him. Okay, well, he's got the threatening on him. <laughs> and now he's going to sit there and do that. But I like that one. As you watch that that one go through, it'll get a little bit, little bit more interesting. Uh, let's pick her up. Uh, we can barely see. We'll yeah, see, now he's laughing, and I really like that. Let's see. We'll take these two here. And we'll give them each talking tokens. There. So now it looks like they're standing there talking, which I just think is great. It just it livens the whole place up. I know it's it's just it's just it's just appearances, but it just makes this place so much nicer, you know, just to have stuff going on. Where's the crossed arms? Let's give you crossed arms. So you're standing there looking stern. Let's give you crossed arms too. You guys are the guards. You're like the bodyguards. So you're standing here at the door looking. Looking all intimidating and everything. Uh, let's see, what will this guy be doing? I don't think we're going to give him seductive. Let's give him the happy token. <laughs> and let's see, who else here? What else we got here? Um, let's take you and turn you around so you're talking to her. Too close to another thrall. Why were we able to place those other guys closer than we can place these guys? Oh, she's interfering with herself. There we go. That's her own previous position. So, oh, maybe it's a thrall above her or something? Because she definitely is having... We're having trouble placing her anywhere here. There was a... Oh, right... Right there. Okay. Uh, so let's give her... Let's give her happy token too, and we'll give her a seductive token. She's she's seducing the other girl. <laughs> yeah, I know. Eagle hate that. Uh, and then we'll give you, we'll give you the other threatening token here. Why are you not wearing any earrings or anything here? Put your earrings on. Trying to bring you earrings for if you're not going to wear them. Oh <laughs> yeah. And I guess you, uh, I don't have another one, so you're out of luck. I could make another one, but I'm not going to. Um, but yeah, it, it gives just a little bit more life to your place, and I just, I love that. That's sort of what I imagined when I was first started in the game. Now he's doing push-ups. It's sort of what I imagined when I first started in the game. I sort of imagined the thralls walking around. You know, sort of like when you do, like, the little city-building sims. You know, where your NPCs are wandering around the city doing their different jobs. That's sort of what I expected. Uh, to have when you built a village or a town or whatever in Conan, and it just it's, it's not there. So I mean, this doesn't have them walking around, but it allows you to get some animations. And if you if you get some extras, it gives you a reason to get extra, you know, thralls, extra fighters and stuff. Because then you can sort of build little scenes of them standing around, you know, around a campfire, or maybe sitting around uh, in a tent. Or there's that one sitting animation. So I guess you could. I don't know if that. It's probably sitting on the ground, but. You know, so you could put them around a campfire and they could be chatting and laughing and flirting and, and doing all this stuff. And, you know, it just makes it a lot, a lot livelier place. I really, really like it.
So that's it. That's that was that was my new thing there that I wanted to show you. That was that's our new mods. Nothing really big, nothing fancy. You know, a little bit of uh, functionality that I like, but a lot of character sort of stuff you can do, and that's what I like the most. Uh, you know me, I'm a role player. Uh, when I'm not when I'm not doing recordings with you guys, I really love what I really love to do is just to get lost in the character, uh, you know, and and just be totally absorbed in being that person and you know surviving you know in games like this i love you know playing the person who's been dumped into this place and trying to survive and would you would you would you stop yelling you're you're giving growler a headache no growler sort of likes it keep it up okay he's giving me a headache and growler likes it even more yep thanks growler if only lance was here and he was getting a headache too i'd like that best of all lance is here Fanny does have a headache. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, actually, what I would really like to do, while we still have time to do it, and I will pause the recording so you guys don't have to put up with travel time, is uh, I want to go find the Barrow King's Mound. Oh, wait a minute. We're going to need demon blood. Demon blood. Did Oh, wait. Did we get any demon blood from killing that dragon? What's going on? <laughs> I love the laughing. It's so great. I just love hearing them laugh and, you know, doing stuff and the clapping and all that. I just, uh, I love it. I love it. Maybe I'm silly, but... Okay, de actually, we do have demon blood. I'm sure we have demon blood. We got a ton of demon blood. <laughs> I'll take five. That should be plenty. All right. So I will see you guys when uh, I get up there. So, be at ease. All right, I tell you, I have gotten so lost up here looking for this Barrow King's Mound. Obviously, the sun has gone down. It's nighttime now. Oh, what are those plants? Gray something something. I think we're headed the right way. There's more skeletons. This is a good sign. Well, that's your opinion. sort of path-like. I really don't want to have to fight a zillion skeletons, but looks like that's what we're going to do. Die, both of you, die! He has food on him. We'll, we'll take that. Did we get it? Yeah, we did. Okay. What do you got? Get some oil and metal. We'll take that. Okay. What are we doing? I think... No, we need to be pointed this direction more. Let's... Let's go towards this guy. You ain't the one who's having a slog through this woods in the rain. Keep going up the valley here. I think we're getting close to it. Ooh, 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 this looks right. This looks right. Um, I was saying, uh, unfortunately, you guys probably didn't hear it because, oh no, tell me I didn't get turned around and go the wrong way. No, this is right. Right up here somewhere. Um, I've gone past this a couple of different times now, I think. Um, I've been only, only, you know, found this place on foot once before with a friend. And uh, the friend sort of ran me in circles. So, <laughs> so uh, I only have a very vague notion of where it is. Okay, this could be it. I, I sure hope it is. No? No, really? It's not? Wait, what's up here? Oh, that was just... 
light reflecting off the or torch light reflecting off something. Yeah, you can die too. Prowler's got killing you guys down to down to a science. Okay, where are we? Let's look at the map again. We have to be real close to it. It has to be right here. Is it further up the hill, maybe? Am I just not going up the hill high enough? Can I can I stop the climbing there, Growler? There we go. Oop. This side. Ugh. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm over the metal rock. All right, this looks promising. This looks promising. Please. I don't know how long I've been searching for this place, but it's been a while now. More skeletons. Once again, good sign. Ah. He seemed fairly tough. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. They're just like materializing around me all of a sudden. Holy moly, run, Growler. I don't feel like fighting them. We can outrun them, we can... Yeah, there it is, right here. Here we go, the Mound of the Barrow King. Finally, we found it. And we've got a zillion of these guys following us. Okay. Come on, Growler, let's do them all in. Looks like all of them, but these two stopped. As long as we don't go back down the hill far enough to aggro them. Yeah, in my experience, these guys are a lot tougher than the Barrow King himself. <laughs> Barrow King is a wimp. Okay, so we've got our demon blood. So now all we need to do is open the door. Isn't there a tablet to read here or something? Hey, here it is. Little note. I write this good Drethen. Who the heck is Drethen? To put to rest your incredulity. I have studied the ruins and stones around the region. I am certain that, that the great battle took place here. I have reason to believe I have found the burial chamber of one of the commanders of the battle. Alas, it is locked tight by some mechanism. I simply have no idea how to open it. I have translated the ruins around, runes around the door. Blood to seal the lock. Or blood to seal and, and blood to hold, blood to warm the dead and cold, blood to sign the final pack, blood to seep between the cracks. Before you ask, yes, I've tried my blood, and it simply does not open. Perhaps what, in, perhaps what is buried inside is too different from what we are for this to work. Interesting. And it doesn't look like he survived. <laughs> God, it's so dark in here. All right. You know, I don't think it actually doesn't even use up our demon blood. Uh, uh, yeah, we still have five. It used to consume it. Now it doesn't. Yeah, I know. It's going to get dark, bright again in a moment. And there he is. The Barrow King. Okay, Growler. Let's do him in. You say die, fool. Man, brothers. You are always pestilence? What? Alright, I get a light out here. I can't see anything. Even though we're losing our shield and doing it, but. We were your gods. Yeah, he looks like he's one of the beings from the city. Where they have whatever the heck those things were. Can't even, oh, yeah, he's almost gone. We've, we've almost nailed him. Away. 
<laughs> uh, I don't know what to harvest this corpse with. Let's do this. So we got some demon blood. We've got something else from him. We got some thick hide. Lots of demon blood. Lots more demon blood. And a little bit more demon blood. There we go. What was that we got from him? This. Diadem of the Giant Kings. And we got a little black ice. But here's the real treasure. Here's, here's, oops, I didn't want to put the torch away. Where is it? Here it is. You need to learn hard. Oh, no, no, no. We don't have, wait a minute. Do we have points? Maybe we can learn them. Uh, we can. Oh, thank goodness. There. Okay. I was going to be so upset if we came up here for nothing. Uh, so we had to learn hardened steel tools. At least we could actually get the hardened steel tools now, too, if we want. Phew. That's a good thing. It, it might have been. I don't know if that was from uh, FB level. What level did we have to be to get the hardened tools? 50. And we made 50 on the way up here. So that worked out pretty well. Let's see. Now... I think is it is it down here somewhere? Yeah, here we go. Kin Kinslayer polearm. Ooh, do we have the? Oh, we don't need the polearm skill though. That's just to make them. To wield them, we don't need it. And this will allow us to make and repair them, I believe. So we can also make these, which I really like. These daggers. I don't know how Growler would feel about wielding them, but these daggers are really nice. But this guy here. 43 damage. That's going to be nice. Going to be nice indeed. Okay. I actually have no idea how long this has gone because my timer got screwed up. Uh, but I assume we're out of time now. <laughs> so thanks for joining me, everyone. I hope you've enjoyed the uh, video. If you did, please remember to tickle that thumbs up button for me. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And we will see you in the next video. Have a great day, everyone.